Right, very good. So recording is in progress. We've started. This is a brand new session, and this session is about getting to know your bank. So for those who are just watching this long after, this is your Know Your Bank session, right? And of course, I'll ask if we can be respectful. So Q&A and all those things. If you want to use uh, the Q&A, you can go ahead and do that. And if you want to use the chat, you can go ahead and do that, but kindly be respectful. So at this point, I'd like to ask one person to say a prayer for us. Please raise your hand if you're ready to say the prayer for us. Raise your hand. I'll, uh, allow, I'll give you access to your microphone, and then we'll get started. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. One person, one person who is getting to say the prayer, raise your hand using the, the platform with the, the, the function. Going once, going twice. Come on. Okay, George Opundo. Good, go ahead. Uh, uh, George Opundo went first. So, George, uh, over to you. You can unmute your mic and say the prayer. Okay, let's pray. Lord, we come to you this morning. We thank you for the gift of life that you've given us for every person represented here. We want to thank you for Cooperative Bank, and we want to thank you for even the facilitators as we begin this session, get us in everything, and may we learn more about the things that we are going to learn that we may, may make a difference in the, our lives according to your will and purpose. Be with us now and forever, so we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. George Opundo, I'm looking for a pen here to scribble down your name. So George, please tell me which branch you're in. Well, I am I am a client. Ah. Um, yes, uh, no, I mean, I mean, sorry, I meant to say which branch you, which location you, you often go to. So I wanted to say, okay, sorry. Or you this branch? Sorry? Or you this? Oyugis. Okay. Very good. Oyugis, just let me uh, give me a second. I need to write that down. Okay. Uh, Opundo. Um, I hope I'm getting your name right. Yes. Okay. And it's uh, how do you spell Oyugis? O Y U G I S. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, George, today, because you volunteered to pray for us, you win yourself a prize. I will not tell you what it is, but there will be a prize at your branch. We're going to make sure we follow up. If you can uh, direct message me your contact, someone will follow up, all right? Okay. Very Thank good. You. I hope Thank that's you. exciting for you. As well. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Glad to see your call back. All right, so jump into today's session. I'll let you know what we're going to be doing. We're going to have a quick welcome note, and then we will have an overview of CoBank's uh, support to SMEs. We'll have a Q&A session that's going to be longer than what we normally do, because we want to make sure we cover ground with everyone, with every question that you have, so that you get the help and assistance that you need. And then we'll do some next steps and wrap up. So an hour and a half, it goes by really quickly because it's always insightful and it's very inspiring. So if you have a question, put it in the chat. If you have a question, put it in the Q&A. Um, just put it there and then we'll get to it. All right? So yes, so the next time I ask someone to volunteer, volunteer quickly because you may be like George and win yourself prize. Okay, good. So before we get too far down though, I want to ask a question. Um, how many, uh, let me use a poll here. So at this point, I want to actually find out from us, how long have you been with Co Bank? How long have you been banking with Co? Please let me know, please let me know. How long have you been banking with Co Bank? Uh, let me know, is it less than two years? Is it 10 years? Is it more than 10 years? Some of us are more than 10 years. Okay, let us know, let us know. Okay. Yeah, keep that going, keep that going. So it's a quick quiz here. I should already let you know some people are going to win prizes. So if you don't vote, you don't get a chance to win that prize. Going once, going twice. I see we're at like 50%. Uh, well done, well done. We have quite a few people from Coop here, so I'm sure they are extremely excited to see how long you've been with Coop. So that's good. Keep that coming. 
There you go. I'm just going to give like maybe one more minute. No, please use the please use the poll. There's a poll on the screen. Uh, we want to make sure we capture that information. Please use the poll on the screen instead of the chat. Instead of the chat. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to count it down now, like uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I see quite there's someone with 12 years. So let me see. So I see David. Let me see. Just uh, someone is getting a prize. So get excited. This must be exciting. I hope you're excited as excited as I am. Let me see. So we have uh, David Malago uh, has been with COP for 12 years. Is there anyone who has been with COP for more than 12 years? Type it now. This one, type in the chat. Okay. This one, type in the chat. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Put that in the chat. If you've been with COP more than, more than. Whoa, Massey. Wow. Okay, okay. Um, my goodness, this is amazing. This is amazing. So Masin Zau. And by the way, we are going to double check. So if you're not the right winner of the prize, we will double check. <laughs> but Masin Zau says 16 years. That's amazing. So we have Masin Zau. More than 16 years. More than 16 years. Going once. If you count and it's more than 16 years, let me know. Masi, you're the yeah, the let me see, let me see. Oh, Mary Ouma. Yikes, you guys. Wow. So Mary Ouma, 20 years. Uh, Christopher says I was there before like years and then came back in again. Ah, uh, Christopher, you 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 ran away and then you came back. Okay, we are definitely glad you had you you came back. But let me see for those who have been Mary Ouma is 20 years, almost 20 years. Anyone, anyone. Above Mary Oma, almost 20 years, going once, going twice. Uh, anyone? Anyone? Mary Oma. Good. So, Mary, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to unmute your mic. This is amazing. Oh, my goodness. More almost 20 years. That's amazing. So let's see. Let's see. Um, Mary? If you could kindly, if you could, let me see, Mary, let's see. Mary, if you could, could you unmute your mic? I don't know if you can, if you have access to your mic right now. I don't seem to see you, Mary. Uh, okay, Mary, let's do this. Please uh, let me know. Uh, yes, Mary, send me uh, your details. Mary Ouma, send me your details. So your name and your business and you win yourself prize okay so that's the second person winning a prize we had george first and then we had uh yeah so yeah exactly send me oh she's unmuted okay good thank you fiona mary please unmute your mic and say a quick hello mary hello hi how are you i'm fine that's amazing. You've been with CoBank for more than almost 20 years? Yeah, since uh, 2000, I've been with COP, doing my salary there, doing business. Yeah. Taking loan, business loan. And it has been amazing. We are doing ah. Wow. Well, thank you. I just want, um, I know someone else is going to say a big thank you, but I wanted to say, Wow, 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 and a big thank you to you. Okay. I'll do, I'll do. We have so I'm going to give one more prize. Uh let me see. So we have a Mary Njeru for Mary. She says 22 years. So Mary, please unmute your mic and also say a quick hello to everyone. This is amazing. Let's appreciate these guys. Wow. Well done. Well done. Um, Mary Njeru, please unmute your mic. Yes. Mary and Jerry, good morning. Twenty-two years. That's amazing. 
Yeah, I work in an institution of coffee. So we have been yeah. banking with Coke Bank. What keeps you banking with Cop Bank and where you say no to all other banks and you say, I want to stay with Cop Bank? You see, coffee sector and the cooperative bank was started by coffee farmers. So we bank with Cop Bank. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, let's go ahead and please, please help me appreciate Mary Ouma and Mary Njeru for the long time they've been with Cop. Use your claps, use your hearts, whatever you can get your hands on. Let's say a big, big thank you to them. Thank you, Mary. Thank you very much. Welcome. Yes, yes, yes. You know what? I think this is a good time to welcome Peter, who's doing our welcome note. Peter, who is um, he? Peter Ndumia is is head of non financial services for Bank. Peter, what do you think about that? Twenty two years. Wow, wow, that that's quite amazing, Mary and. Um, both Marys, I think we really appreciate for that time. Uh, we really thank uh, you for being part of the family for all that long. So we really appreciate that. I think as Sam is indicated, uh, we'll still appreciate you for being uh, with us for a while. And um, uh, I think we'll be able to share more details when you visit your branch. Very good. So just to be clear, there is a gift that is ready for you at your branch. Uh, Mary Ouma and Mary Njeru, please uh, just uh, send us your details in the chat section so that we can follow up and have that ready for you at your convenience. Over to you, uh, Peter, for the welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sam. And uh, allow also me to appreciate the other, I think a number of them have also indicated their a long uh, engagement with us. We have um, Betty Boro, she also indicated that she's been with us for long. I see you, Mary Gerald, Mary Ouma, and Masin Zau as well. Uh, I think you also indicated quite a number of years that you've been together with us as our customer. Um, I saw you, uh, David Malago. David Malago is one of our key clients, and I think we, we've been able to visit uh, Israel and Turkey uh, as part of the Cobb Bank and Financial Services uh, Program. Uh, uh, with David, so he's also been part of uh, our customers. Thank you, George. Uh, again, you uh, also prayed for us, and uh, we really appreciate. I uh, will uh, see how to engage you after this, and also to see what uh, what uh, present that we can also uh, can also give to the branches as part of appreciation to you for being together with us and also being partner with us. And this is just an encouragement to all of us. Uh, those who have not also been uh, with us for long, we also appreciate you. Those who opened account recently, those who've been able to benefit from our solutions in the recent past, uh, uh, many, many thanks for being part of uh, this uh, great family. We appreciate you and we acknowledge that uh, you are uh, our partners and we appreciate you for that. And uh, today, again, we are here to talk about uh, a few things around CoBank and some of the things that we do and how we also facilitate uh, our business customers uh, to grow. Um, and and this, is, um, this is part of uh, CoBank non-financial services program uh, for MSMEs where we continue to network, we learn, we interact and we share feedback. And we've partnered with the African Management Institute, uh, AMI, to develop a program uh, and that uh, look for great speakers that will be training us for the next uh, one year. It will be together with them up to possibly September. And I'm sure even after that, we'll see other programs coming in uh, just to make sure that uh, we continue to offer relevant and applicable and useful skills that will be good for our businesses uh, growth. So uh, today is about uh, knowing uh, your bank. It's about knowing what are some of the solutions that we have that uh, will help us to grow. Um, it's about us knowing our partners, uh, CoBank being a partner and you customers being our partner. Uh, it's about us sharing a few things around the offerings that we have as a bank. And I know uh, our head of SME banking is with us, Anthony Kenyo. He will be coming here to share some of the things that we've been able to do 
We also have other uh, bank of issues at the background. We have Joseph and we also have Daniel. They will also come in to share some of the frequently asked questions that you have as, a, as you know as entrepreneurs who are, in, um, who are doing business and uh, some of the questions that you keep on asking. So we have a, a, a full uh, uh, you know, session on question and answers and uh, a session to give a feedback to us uh, through the chat box and also through the question and answer tab. And uh, I think for us really is to welcome all of you to be part of this uh, program, be part of this session, welcome you to share your uh, you know, questions and anything that you want us to, to discuss and uh, also be part of this uh, program that we'll be having other upcoming events in the near future. And so without further ado, it's really to welcome uh, Sam to continue with the program and also welcome us to continue sharing the issues that we have and the questions that we will be having. Thank you so much, our dear customers. Very good, thank you so much, Peter. And I want to, yes, just re-echo what Peter said. There's so many of you who have been with Prof for such a long time. I know Jennifer Kivandi mentioned for I think 18 plus years, Grace Torondo started in 1999 with, uh, I think it was a salary account and then moved to business account. There's so many, obviously we won't be able to go down the whole list, but this one was just to say, thank you. Thank you very much. So we recognize each and every one of you down to the last person who have been with uh, with the uh, bank for just a few weeks or maybe just a few days. We definitely appreciate you. All right, so with that, um, so Peter has, has spoken about uh, Bank. I want to just walk you through a little bit about AMI because this is a partnership between Bank and AMI. As AMI, the thing that we are known for and that we are super proud for is uh, we are African Management Institute and we are super proud about all the work that we do towards enabling ambitious businesses and entrepreneurs like you across Africa to thrive. How do we do that? Through practical tools and practical um, tools that you can use in your business. So we don't, we're not about all our learning. It's not about theory and theory and theory. We're all about practical business because the Kenyan entrepreneur needs something that they can use today. And we've had reach across 39 countries in Africa, about 42,000 people trained. We use the digital platforms quite a bit. So quantity in about five languages, 3,000 practical tools and so on and so forth. All that we are really proud of. We also like to share opportunities. So there's still the opportunity for you to sign up for the Grow Your Business uh, um, program. It has full scholarships as well available right now. So if you want to go ahead and, and take that link, I think uh, Fiona will be sharing that link in the chat. Okay. There's, um, let me see. Okay, good. So there's, uh, there's, uh, there's a link that uh, Fiona will be sharing. Please let me know that you've got that. And also full scholarships are available. So take your business to the next level. This is a Kenyan, uh, all for exclusively Kenyan businesses and entrepreneurs. And it's uh, fully virtual, so you can always attend from wherever you are. Okay, right. So if you have that, just let me know so we can move to the next thing. There you go. That's the link in the chat. Uh, type a yes if you've got that. And then we'll move. Today, we have quite a bit of ground to cover. And it's all about knowing your bank, but also then we get into the Q&A section, right? Very good. So with no further ado, I'd like to invite Anthony Kinua Wangechi. He's going to tell us a bit about his role with uh, Copa. Okay, he's our guest speaker and is just going to walk us through where does Copbank come from? Where did we start from? Where are we now? What challenges are SMEs going through with all the experience we've had with businesses? What challenges do uh, businesses typically face, especially SMEs like us? And how is the bank positioning itself? How is the bank supporting uh, businesses across Kenya? And also not just um, supporting businesses across Kenya, but what impact has been there, All right? Anthony, welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sam. I don't know whether you can hear me well. I can hear you perfectly, sir. And thank you for the insightful session. One of the things I noted from your question, one of the answers from one of our customers said, I've been admiring the Cobank building for the last 25 years. So you might also want to get a prize 
uh, for our uh, valuable customer. But again, also invite the same customer to now get inside the, 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 the yep. bank, uh, patronize yep. our service. Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Peter also for that uh, welcoming uh, note. So my name is Anthony Kenua. I am in charge of SME. I work uh, closely with the SMEs uh, supporting us and I'll be taking us briefly on what's our role as a bank and what are some of these solutions and enablement that are there to help us uh, uh, run our businesses. So uh, Sam, if I can proceed to the next uh, slide. For sure. And as I start is to say, thank you so much for finding time, our customers, just to get up uh, for finding time to just join us for this one hour session. Uh, just to know, I'll talk about a uh, little bit about who Cooperative Bank is. And uh, I'll start on by saying, this is a Kenyan bank. It's fully owned by a cooperative society, a cooperative holding and other shareholders. And I liked uh, one of the customers who said, I knew, uh, I knew CoBank, uh from supporting us as farmers back in the years this for sure is a local bank that was formed by the farmers through their cooperative society that grew now to be one of the leading actually the second best bank uh, in terms of profitability and asset book in kenya so we are locally owned uh, majority by our co from our name cooperative by cooperative holding at 65 and uh, we have other Kenyan investment, investors and shareholders who own about 35%. Uh, it's a universal bank, if we can go to the next slide. It's a universal bank that has uh, subsidiaries across all of us. And I'll be speaking to some of these subsidiaries as I explain this. Why do we say we are the best bank? Uh, it's because we operate in a very successful universal banking model. What does that mean? That we are able to cater for each and every customer segment in this country. When you start, you're saying you're either salaried like Anthony and Sam and Peter, we have uh, a consumer banking, what you call retail banking. And for us who have joined here, if you're not employed, then you are a business person. So retail and business banking, where we sit, all of us with Peter, is what support is that is a whole division that supports the MSMEs and all those of us who are employed. We also have uh, cooperatives, uh, societies, and circles. Those who operate FOSA front office and back office FOSA BOSA, the farmers cooperatives, the marketing cooperatives. Uh, we also have a whole division with a dedicated team that supports us if you are if you are cooperatives or a farmer society. We also have what we call the corporate. If you're not an SME, if you're not in consumer or what we call a personal banking, if you're not a cooperative, then you are an, a corporate entity. We are there to serve you through our corporate uh, banking. And also we also partners with the government and other international firms through our institutional banking. So that means we cater for all the segments that are available that are operating in the country. We also have a diaspora wing that is also situated within the retail and business banking. We have a footprint. We currently out of the country. We are operating five branches in Southern Sudan and we'll have possibility of opening more frontiers in different other countries as the business grows. The most other exciting is we have subsidiaries that deal with fund management. There are those who are not coming to borrow. There are those who want to invest. Uh, so we have a, a fund management subsidiary that works with us to cater for those who want to do the investment. We also have what we call a COP consultancy uh, at the MSME level who do capacity building, but we also have consultants within the bank as a subsidiary who are seconded employees of the bank, but their primary for them is to ensure that we support circles and also MSMEs and corporate who want to structure uh, have a structural framework, capacity building, and all those uh, necessities that requires a business to uh, to grow. So we have that consultancy within CoBank, uh, majorly dealing with our cooperative societies, the farmers, and also the circles, and also largely MSME and corporate. We also are not left in terms of uh, stock brokerage. 
this is also another one of our subsidiary, those who want to invest in shares uh, and other trading services, we have a whole subsidiary that deals with us. Then those of us, you, you all agree for the last three, four years, insurance has really become a key necessity in running our businesses. Each and every now Kenyan, each and every one of us insurance, the risk to mitigate uh, any loss, uh, then you require insurance and you have taken this seriously. And that's why we have a whole subsidiary uh, dealing with all our insurance and bank assurance services. And lastly, just to ensure that we have a 360 view is we also have a leasing company for those of us who want to invest in asset and they don't want to uh, possibly, they want to do leasing, especially for the big machineries or so you are in a supermarket, you don't want to purchase immediately, you want to lease. And that's the new trade now coming in in the country. We have a whole leasing subsidiary and we have partnered with one of the best uh, uh, companies in South Africa called the Co Fleet Africa Limited. So this speaks to all of us saying you are a business person, you are a salaried person, you are in a circle, you want to invest, you want to get insured. This is a, a, a universal model. And I also say it, these are available to Kenyan and also those living in diaspora. And so our presence, our footprint, we are currently at 181 branches uh, uh, represented in almost every county in this country. We are currently having 9 million account holders and it was exciting to learn that the majority of us have had account uh, you know, for, uh, with us for the last five to 10 years. And I'll continue, if you've gotten good service, please continue referring customers to us. Online banking, uh, the internet banking, uh, the shift now from the COVID era has changed from what the traditional way of uh, coming to the bank and depositing and withdrawing. We have, eight, eight, we have uh, embarked on um, what I call an, an online platform where we have over 5 million customers and we have also embraced the internet banking for customers. So Kenyans living in diasporas, I know we have friends, our family members, our associates, our business colleagues who are in diaspora. We have a whole department that deals with diaspora customers. And so far we are nearing 20,000 customers of those uh, of such type of a customer segment who are away and we support them in the mortgages and, and any other investment opportunities that are available in, uh, in Kenya. A circle, I know I talked about this. We have a front office uh, circles. We have partnered and we support our circle movement because that's where we came from. If you are a circle member and you have an ATM of, uh, of any circle, then you're able to come up, come to any co bank and withdraw or get access to your funds and get service. So we really support the, 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 the circle network. We have 558 ATMs. Uh, we have a 24-hour contact system now. You are able to contact us any time of the day. And where we are not represented, we have recruited. And some of us is exciting are sharing that commission. We have partnered with you so that you become our agent. You sort of become an extended co-bank for us. And we have done this very well with the MSMEs. And we have currently at 20,000. So that's our footprint. Uh, so you can get us either through the branches, everything, uh, and uh, it's in one stop shop. So coming to the discussion of today, we also a bank that is positioned itself to cater for the MSME client, the strategic level. Uh, one of the main area that we have said this year is we want to partner, take advantage of the environment that has been created for cooperatives and MSME, even by the government and other international and private stakeholders to ensure that then we grow our MSME. And this we are in cognizant that we have challenges being faced by MSMEs. The majority of us, you all agree with me, uh, one of the greatest challenge for us is the record keeping where we are not able to, how do I ensure that I maintain good books of account? How am I able to track my sales and uh, profitability and expenses. I think record keeping has been a challenge and I'll also be explaining how then do we 
uh, from a bank perspective then support us in ensuring that uh, we're able to support you on this. Then the management skills, these are very critical. And I want to thank Peter and Sam because in the, the webinars, especially for this year, will be more on equipping us on how do we become better business uh, ma managers, better entrepreneurs. So business management skills, I think, has been one of the uh, serious challenges we have faced, even from the bank, where you find a business that was doing well, uh, the shareholders is no longer the main shareholder is not there, then the business goes down. How do you ensure that we ho have a, a business succession within our entrepreneurship areas? Market availability, I think this is more, more external. How do I get a loan from a co-bank? How do I ensure that then my products are moving? Where is this market? Uh, Peter has talked about some of the markets that we are exposing our customers to go out there, learn new things, enjoy the economies of scale. What are these market availability and how do we partner? Then the other thing is the technology. I think COVID, I mentioned this last uh, last webinar, but one, uh, COVID taught us a lot and we just need to say the cheese has moved. How do we move? How do you move from the traditional way of doing business to now embracing the online and the dynamic technology that is being uh, used by uh, other entrepreneurs if you're doing only relying on walking how do i take my business uh, online uh, again number five is uh, and i know those of us who watched news yesterday is there was that talk of uh, the msmes being delayed their payment for the works that they have done how do i deal with this i've done a contract with the county government uh, money has not come in. How do I deal with some of these uh, challenges, even from a bank perspective? And I'll be unpacking how does Cobank come in. Then, of course, the last one, which uh, I know most of us are um, previous to it, is access to credit and lack of appropriate credit solution. And I'll be un unpacking in the next five or so minutes, how do I access credit uh, and what do I need to do? Uh, so in line with and recognizing that then, some of the challenges that MSMEs are facing from a, a bank perspective, from a strategic goal of the bank perspective, what have we done as a bank? So, and, and, and what are we doing to position ourselves uh, to ensure that then we speak the, 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 same, the same language? I, I think one of the things I want to say and re-emphasize as we continue with all the webinars is the entry, the, the entry discussion for us and our client is through an account. Anytime, even when you visit a hospital or any person you're doing a business, there's that entry point. And for us, then we have what we call an engagement tool, which is a first step is to ensure that you have a, what you call an MSME transactional account. You are either, and, and this now for us then is to say, for those of us who are starting, or you are one year in the business, it has not really picked up, or you want to start, it's, we start you with what we call a bronze package. This is the entry level. If you're doing less than uh, 10 million uh, annual sales, then you give you a bronze uh, package. When you, you have started picking up and starting uh, to expand, and you're doing 10 million to 100 million, we'll give you a silver package. And when then your business has stabilized and now you're looking for accelerated growth, you have actually you sort of cracked the market dynamic and you're doing turnovers of, or sales of above 100 million up to 500 million, then we have a, what we call a gold package. Why have you separated? Because the need for the gold package customer are not the same for the one uh, for the bronze package. So we have segmented this so that you're able to give you what you call a customer value proposition, depending on the level of your business. Number two, there are those shortfalls when you come to uh, working capital or financing your Biashara. We have very exciting uh, solutions. One, uh, you have uh, the NNO. Last year we started this and I talked about it, the unsecured. Uh, term loans and secured overdraft. We have secured loans. We also have what we call the mobile loans. Uh, one of the things I want to possibly just spend a minute is to say, if you open an account 
and start transacting with us, we will give you an automatic limit qualification of uh, uh, depending with your banking over to the maximum is a million and that you're able to borrow on phone. If you are you are coming for a big loan and you have uh, possibly a title or uh, you know a, a land somewhere, we'll give you the secured term. And if you have you know you are starting up, you're doing good businesses, but good business, and you don't have a, a motor vehicle to to you know to to guarantee your loan, then we'll give you the unsecured term loan. And this unsecured term loan is purely based on you operating an account with us and ensuring that then you're able to understand you through the transaction that you're doing. If you can go to the next one, I think that the number three offering that you're doing is what you call the trade solution. Uh, we are in a competitive market dynamic where we, we are saying now, uh, there are people who are importing, the others who are exporting, there are those of us who are doing contract and sometimes you require some working capital to unlock. Uh, I'm importing a machine, I need to be sure. So there are those letters of credit all. I've gone uh, to Unga Limited and they are requesting me for a guarantee or a document or a contract or an advance payment for me to do business uh, with, with a certain company or with the government. We have those trade solutions that uh, uh, at Cobank, uh, the, the, the bid board the performance guarantee, the LPO, the invoice discounting, the letters of credit, all these, the import duty finance, these are part of what we offer uh, to our customers. Then we also have what we call a collection solution. This is very key because this is the only way we're able to give you a limit uh, so that you're able to borrow up to a maximum of a million. We are able to understand the nature and the transaction of your business is through ensuring that you embrace a collection solution. We have a cocktail that doesn't charge so that uh, you also move with the technology. Those of us, uh, it's exciting, those of us who are you know, distributing and selling their merchandise across the country, then you're able to get a, a, an online uh, solution where if a customer is in Mombasa and you're in Nairobi, you're able to give them a till number that they are able to deposit and you get the narration. You don't need an instant and you're able to uh, get the instant update of that transaction and you're able to release good. So it's very uh, encourage us. Let's use this uh, uh, M collection. We have a cocktail, 400, 200, the checkbooks, the Kokwa Jirani, the Forex. You can talk to us. And uh, this is one of the solutions that we also give. Number five uh, for us, uh, number five, you can go so that we move together. The other solution that we give is insurance. And I know I talked about this. In this era and time, let's ensure our businesses are insured because that's a risk mitigation. Uh, the risks of fire, the risk of human life, death, the risk of permanent disability. Let's ensure that at least we pay that insurance amount, approach a cop bank, get to know the premium amount. We pay for unforeseen risk, which is very good because now anything happens, then you don't have to struggle. So uh, it's also a solution uh, we offer and we also encourage, uh, uh, also encourage us if you are there, ensure that at least your business talk or your even personal life is insured and you have all those even for our workers. Number six is uh, lastly, the most important thing for me is dedicated relationship managers. One of the things that uh, I say, we all have uh, a personal doctor, pediatrician, a doctor that you call and say, and, and possibly uh, uh, give them what you're feeling and they'll prescribe a medicine. The, our relationship managers are our personal doctors. The more they understand you, the more they are able to prescribe any of the solutions that I have, uh, I have mentioned about. So let's use our dedicated relationship. I talked of about 181 branch. Each branch has about three uh, de dedicated relationship manager supported by a branch manager. And what we did last year after getting feedback from you is that now a branch manager and a relationship manager has an approval limit of up to 3 million at the branch level. They're able to come 
to your uh, to your business assess give you unsecured either by phone all secured and tangibly secured up to a tune of three million without even referring to head office or sending any documentation to us why because we want to devolve you are with them there on a daily basis you are the one engaging them so take advantage of this uh, collection solution take advantage of that uh, footprint that we have to engage your relationship manager and the more you give you have business information to them, the better. That's why even in a hospital, the doctor will start with a history. Give us a his give me your history on how you know how it happened. It's the same thing in a bank uh, customer relationship. We really need to understand you for us to prescribe the best solution for you. If you can proceed to the next one, uh, number seven, uh, number seven. Exactly. Number seven is what we are saying, partnership, that we have in every day looking out for new partnership. Some from AMI is a great partner who bring uh, other, uh, other, other consultants to talk to us. We'll also partner with some of these institutions. Uh, Isuzu, Simbacol, Tata, Wagner, Visifa, mention even the government. Uh, we'll partner with different stakeholders to ensure that we bring you uh, we, we, the, the beauty with partnership is that we're able to negotiate on behalf of our customers. Just to give a kissing example, if you approach Isuzu and you mention COP, then the financing uh, becomes uh, an advantage to you because you require to have a, a, non -contrib a less on contribution, your own contribution, and you finance more. So in these partnerships, we try to negotiate on behalf of our customers so that you're able to get a better rate. When it comes to the government, those of us who have had uh, the government fund that we are giving, that we have some concessional or loans, working capital called CGS. And uh, I, I just want to say the abbreviation CGS so that when you talk to your branch manager, ask for the CGS. And the CGS is a working capital that we have partnered with the government. It's a credit guarantee scheme we have partnered with the government so that we're able to give working capital at a 0 0.5 concessional rate, uh, you know, from the normal interest rate. So these are partnerships that we do on behalf of our MSME so that at least we're able to give us the best deal. Lastly is what we are doing today the non-financial services that we are supported by Peter. Peter fully supports us on this to ensure that then there are trainings that are coming, there are exposure trips that are there, and Peter facilitated that. There are, there are networking forums who come physically and have a meeting within the region. There is what we call an online portal. I've seen a question as I present is, I, someone commenting, I've joined late. Is this being recorded? Yes, this is usually recorded and kept in our MSME online portal so that at your free time during the weekend, you can go back and revisit all what we have talked about as our uh, topical uh, areas of the day. Over and above that, lastly, on the last slide is to say, the last slide is to say, uh, Peter, if you can move to the next slide, is to say that our support and commitment uh, in charge on behalf of the bank, on behalf of uh, other staff of the bank, and our commitment to MSMEs who are listening is, we have a kitty or a Kenya, a Kenya shillings, 50 billion kitty as a bank that has been set aside for MSME. And this uh, set aside is because we want to really support our customers in mobility, that is asset finance, working capital, mortgage and trade finance. So take advantage of the kit that we have set aside to enjoy some of the solutions. Uh, we also now embarked on what you call the new and used motor vehicle financing. If you're not able to get to walk in in Suzu and buy a, that new car and you want a second hat, we have ventured into that. We have over 800 bankers across the region, uh, the country, uh, in Kenya and also in Southern Sudan. We also have a diaspora uh, RMs so that you're able to engage uh, engage them so that they're able to prescribe and give you some of this new insight from the bank so that you're able to continue running your business effectively. The quick turnaround time, 24 hours, 
uh, for loans, and especially now the instant loans that now comes with our mobile um, mobile loans. So let's leverage on that. Digital channels, this is why I have highlighted this because unless, unless uh, we patronize these services, uh, the cocktail, the co what are calling the cocktail, the copage and the ATMs, let's you know use the digital channels. Lastly is also the mobile loan limit. We have the highest limit in the market currently. You can borrow up to 1 million uh, for four months, five months. And if the 1 million you find is squeezed for four months, you can get in touch with the branch manager and they will give you the 12 months. Uh, uh, you leverage on that limit uh, to get the 12 months. And lastly is what I talked about on the credit guarantee scheme for SMEs. Please, uh, after this, reach out to your business banker, your relationship manager, and ask for a CGS working capital loan uh, that has a concession because we have set aside and we have partnered with the government for that. So those, uh, in a nutshell, are the uh, uh, things that I wanted to highlight. And lastly, for me, is let's continue doing the webinars that we are doing here, being guided well by some the forums that we continue doing. We also do, uh, later in the year, we'll do some international trips so that we can uh, expose you to what is happening on the other markets. And then any any insight, anything new, we'll put it in our online platform and we are able to access all this information and presentation and insight at your comfort of your desk or your working area. So thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate again, thank you for joining. Thank you for finding time to, you know, just share with us, share, ask the questions, share the feedback, and more so let's continue logging in and so that you're able to uh, know what is happening uh, within the bank. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm grateful and uh, over to you, Sam. Uh, take it out. Good. Very good. Thank you so much, Anthony Kinua. Let's appreciate. I see the thumbs up are going. No, come on. I think he's done way better than that. So let's let's keep those going. Keep the claps going. Yes. Yes, yes. That's how you appreciate people. Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much for appreciating, Anthony. Anthony, thank you so much for all the information. Anthony is, is going to be here until the end of the call. And what we're going to do is get into, without any further ado, Q&A. There are so many questions, the beautiful questions that have been coming through. And just like I said, today is all about Cobank and you. And we want to check, do you know your bank? Okay, so you don't know your bank, you need to know your bank. If you know your bank, we want to let you know there's probably a bit more that you may need to know. If you have a challenge, you need to know how you can reach out to, to who can help you. And Cobank is positioned to do that. So without any further ado, I'm going to invite Okay, for our Q&A, we have Daniel Kimani. He's the trade finance product manager. We are very aware that most of us here are in trade. So Daniel is the perfect person to be here with us. And we also have Joseph Tabora. He is the e-credit relationship manager. So Daniel and Joseph, if I could have you on video, uh, I just... Uh, and then we'll jump into these questions. So keep them coming in the chat. And there's also quite a few that we, we carried forward uh, from last, last time, which was a bit of the, the backlog. Um, as they are coming onto video, I wanted to re read some responses here that came in the Q&A. Christopher Nganga, if you are here, for those who are here last time, I believe you noticed that I, I think he had a challenge with, the, with the, some particular aspect of his business. And he says, I take this opportunity to say thanks to Mr. Peter Ndumea for taking a quick response towards the challenge I had last week towards the auctioneer. Well, uh, of course, now he's asking, how can, how can you help me build my business to grow to where it was? And that's what we're going to be discussing. So Joseph Kabora and Daniel Kimani, welcome. Just say a quick hello. Let's start with Joseph and then Daniel, and then we'll jump straight into this question. Jane, thank you very much, everyone, and we appreciate you, customers, for logging in and uh, having us have your feedback. We appreciate, we hope we're going to answer your questions as uh, you might be required, and the answers will be as candid as it will be. 
and we are still available for any further engagement outside this meeting. So some appreciate and uh, we are looking forward for an interaction session, especially in the Q&A. Thank you very much. Very good. I like how you said candid. So even me, I'm going to ask these questions the way they are coming. So some people are already asking uh, interest rates, new people, we need to get lower ones and so on. So I will ask the questions as they come in. Some may be difficult, some may, but I know that we're going to work towards getting the help that we need. Okay, that's the commitment that we have. Daniel, please say a quick hello and then we'll jump in. Uh, greetings, everyone. And uh, it's good to have every one of you uh, joining us. Thank you. Very good. All right, so let's jump straight in. Um, I will need probably short answers because I see we have quite a number of questions, but if you feel you need to uh, elaborate on something, please go ahead and do that. Let me jump in here. So which is the best account package I should open for my business? Uh, let's start with Joseph. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sam. Uh, the best ac or account package, that you, it depends on the type of your business. So all accounts that we offer is specific for uh, the business you are in. So we have the packages, MSME packages, bronze, we have uh, silver and we have gold categorized on the basis of your business and the nature of your business sales. So for now, I'll say all of them are good, but when we engage and see your business uh, levels of transactions and uh, turnovers, then we'll be able to advise further on the the best for you. So it depends on your business turnover levels some. Very good. Like Anthony said, it's a bit of a doctor patient relationship. You have a conversation and then we are able to recommend what's best. All right. Um maybe still with Joseph, what should I do to qualify for business loans, generally speaking? Uh, thank you once again for business loans for you to qualify one, you need to have a business system existing, and then the business should uh, show the operations through the turnovers and uh, the, uh, the, the, the amount that you bank with us. So we see the business levels, trading levels, and the income gener uh, gener generation. So when we assess your business and we see the levels of uh, uh, your sales, then we can assess your need of business uh, loan. So everyone knows in business basically qualifies for a loan. That is the short way I can answer that. Sam. Okay, very good. Daniel, I'm coming to you. So equal relationships, someone is asking, um, what is your advice to startups on accessing business loans? And can I qualify for unsecured business loans if I have not been banking with Pope? Uh, uh, the unsecured loan normally, okay, you can, it depends on case by case basis. But upon, upon delivering you that service, then we'll ask you to bank with us. So it depends on the case to case basis we can give. But now is the engagement will be have between us and you and we assess that we will be able to give you that. So the answer is yes, and it depends case by case basis. Sam. All right, Daniel, are you are you able to give us a response on a credit score? How do I improve my credit score? Um, uh, Daniel, I think uh, you you may want to you may want to use the other to switch your camera. We are seeing a picture of a beautiful chair. Ah, yes, now we are back. We're back. Daniel, how do I improve my credit score? Uh, basically, uh, it means um, at the bank getting all your sales, um, uh, all the sales revenues you, you, you do at your business, you ensure that um, are, are banked in our, in our ecosystem. And therefore, this goes a long way in improving your credit score. Sam. Okay. And um, can I, how do I qualify for, an, for a loan when I have another existing loan? How does that work? Pardon, Sam? I, I How do I one. qualify for a loan if I already have an existing loan? Um, uh, like Habra has said, we have different loan products um, for different needs. Uh, you can have a working capital loan. You can also have a, a building loan. 
depending on the need uh, and depending on the ability of your business to repay that loan. Um, uh, we just have to review, talk to uh, uh, your banker and your uh, branch manager, and we're able, we able to offer the specific loan towards that need of that business. And is that the same for accessing longer duration loans? Like for those of us who want to take a longer duration with a loan? Exactly. Uh, those products, those loans products have different uh, tenures. For example, our working capital MSME working. Capital loan will go a max six months for uh, expenditure. Uh, this will go uh, for a maximum of five years. If it's an asset finance, we have asset finances that go for 48 months, that is four years, and others that go for uh, 60 months. We also have loans that go for a period of 12 months. Uh, this might be um, depending on the need of that business. So different loan products have different tenures. And of course, uh, that need, this goes uh, along with towards the need of that business. Could you, uh, Daniel, could you just walk us through e-credit qualification requirements? Um, yes, um, one, um, uh, the business must be existing for at least uh, three years. Um, and then uh, you need to do uh, an application, of, uh, an official application at the branch. Uh, if it's a limited company, then you need to have a board resolution uh, to borrow. Uh, you need to have, we we'll need to have a profile of your business. This basically uh, tells us uh, what is the nature of your business? Is it a hardware? Is it um, a, a butchery? Is it a wholesaler? Is it a, a, a business that is in quotation uh, area, uh, importation of tiles or importation of construction materials? This information is what you transfer uh, to the business banker or the branch manager. Then after that, what you look at is the revenues generated by this business on an annual basis. Uh, Joseph gave, uh, three types of accounts you operate, bronze, silver, and gold. So depending on your annual revenue, we're able to place you in those uh, different categories, and therefore you're able to qualify, to qualify for these different loan products. So basically, uh, the profile of the business, kind of, uh, age of the business should be at least three years, uh, ownership of that business, resolution to borrow if it's a limited company, and an application letter. Then we'll also need uh, to have um, uh, the KYC documents. KYC documents, I mean ownership documents of this business. And for you, again, to operate an account with us. Um, okay, very good. Um, let me, um, just give me a second here. Let me check with uh, Joseph. Uh, are you there, Joseph? Mr. Kabora? Yes, oh, there I'm you are. Sam. Yes. Is, is trade finance only for imports or exports? But not come again. If I um, trade and... finance, is it only for people who are importing and exporting? Uh, the trade finance, uh, no, not really. It's not really for import and exports. Is does not mean that you need to be in the trade of business imports and exports for you to qualify for trade by finance. So you can qualify for trade by finance even if you are not importing or exporting. Okay, okay. Um, is one required to, to be an account holder to enjoy trade finance products? You are the point of, at the point of application uh, is not necessary, but have to now we establish a relationship Sam, you uh, have to be an account holder for you to give the other uh, personalized services. But at the point of application, you can enjoy the service even if you are not an account holder with CoBank. And uh, how about, uh, must one have collateral security to access trade finance products? It, uh, it depends. Every trade, there are so many trade finance products. Huh? Those some are unsecured and there are some which are secured. Yes. For example, I can okay. give an example of uh, maybe a bid bond. Bid bonds, we don't have need security for us to give you that trade uh, finance. Like, but now when you come to the guarantees, performance guarantees, we'll need some security for us to give that facility to you. Could you talk about that? What forms of security are we talking about in terms of collateral? What, what is acceptable? 
Oh, uh, we, we have uh, we have we can have cash as a collateral. You can have a motor vehicle as collateral. We can also have a charged land or a property developed as collateral. And we have uh, some AGF annual guarantee fund of which we can explore to some extent. Um, Daniel, I have a question for you about interest. I think you're the right person to ask about interest. Why is it that, so Melvin is asking, why is it that interest is so high when you take a loan from MCO? I think I can take that one. Let me assist that. that. Okay. Let, let me assist money, Daniel. Okay. Uh, the interest we have, I don't know where they are high. As I can, according to the market, the interest we're offering in a cop cash or mobile loans are relatively lower comparing the competition, but also rates are determined through the risk involved in the property sum and not the property in the product itself, because you realize that the product we are giving, they are totally unsecured. Uh, they don't have security, we don't have fallback on them. So we are trusting your goodwill of repaying that loan. So the determine, uh, determination of the rate depends on the risk in fault. And that's why you'll find the, the rates are, uh, they are not high, I cannot say they are not high comparing to the competition, but we are relatively having lower interest rate comparing to the competition sum. That one I can confirm. Okay. Very good, thank you. Larry, so maybe you can advise me some of these, I'm basing them on uh, the questions that are coming through so you can advise me on who best to address the question. Larry Muriuki is asking, getting an unsecured loan from COP is hard. The offering of 70% of monthly turnover as unsecured loan is less than mobile loans we receive from others. Uh, would you care to comment? Uh, I will. Thank you so much for the question. I think I'll answer that question two parts. So one, <clears throat> the, the, uh, the computation uh, matrix to use in uh, giving and secured loan is not totally pegged on 7% sum. There are some other factors we consider. It depends, as I said, it depends on the case by case basis. So as a relationship of that comes or you explain your needs to them, that 70% cannot is not a cast on stone sum. So you will can consider even other uh, factors to give you what your business nearly needs. So we consider your business needs. Uh, the 70% should not shy you off from approaching us to give you a facility, but it's just th those are, they are not, as I say, they are not cast on the stone sum. Okay, okay. So there's flexibility and what I hear is that you're inviting every client to cast a customer to come and have a conversation with the doctor. True, true, Sam, that's true. Okay, can I ask about insurance? Evans Mbihi is asking, what kind of insurance do you offer? Again, is it Joseph or Daniel? Let me know who best to address this one. Uh, even Dan, Dan can do that, huh? Okay. Yeah. Um, Mr. Mr. Kimani? Yes, yes, we do offer different insurance. Um, um, for, for different purposes, we have life insurance, we also have motor vehicle insurance, and um, we have a dedicated resource at every branch, whom we call a, a bank assurance officer. Uh, the way it works is that bank, the bank works as an agent, so we just walk into a branch. Uh, is it life insurance? Is it education? Is it investment insurance? Is it motor vehicle insurance you want for your vehicle? Is it stock insurance you want for, for your business? And you um, approach that bank assurance officer, they're able to give you a premium and give you an insurance from a different, uh, the different um, uh, insurance companies within the country. Very good. Um, could you, uh, in the same, how someone is asking, how does MCOP account for it? Would you just talk generally about that? Uh, an MCOP cash account is yeah. it's basically a virtual account summer that you can access to your phone. So this platform helps you access your other accounts you have with the, the bank. Normally is a link between your phone and the accounts you have with the bank. So what we do, we give you a platform to access your 
uh, account uh, banking services through your mobile and you'll be able even to see all other accounts you'll be holding or you're having with us. So we find we give you a link to access um, an MCOP cash platform and to access the other accounts that you have with us. So we link all your accounts with us to your phone. You'll be able to transact all the few, even the balances using that MCOP cash account. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, Junior Fred Mbasia is asking, he's interested in being a shareholder in Cop Bank. So how can I become a Cop Bank shareholder? I think Peter, Peter can answer that. Peter, Peter, someone wants to own the bank, sir. Uh, okay. And I can see Anthony also was uh, maybe ready to comment. But I think um, we have... Uh, a, a kingdom security, uh, kingdom securities limited as uh, one of the subsidiaries of the bank, where we uh, can allow our customers to buy shares. We have co bank shares, and we have um, we are able to sell different types of shares. So uh, maybe you'd also want to share your details. We can engage you and um, support you uh, to to you getting some uh, someone to support you. Uh, acquire the core bank. Yes. Anthony, is, is this something else? Yes, maybe just to yeah, add okay. some, just a small addition is uh, just walk into the branch and just say, I need to buy X number of shares in Cop Bank. You get a form, you do it within 15 minutes, they'll so fill and set to Kingdom Security. The most interesting aspect of it now, going forward, once you open a CDS account, you'll be able to buy and sell shares online using your phone. So just feel free, go into the CoBank uh, and open that CDS account. Then you get, uh, they will link the CDS account to your mobile phone and you'll be able to be doing it at the comfort of your workplace. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Um, Anthony, in your delivery, you mentioned the cheese has moved. Can I do this without getting into the CoBank branch? Yes, yes. So, uh, the, the, the trading of shares, or what did you yes. mean? Yes, yes, yes. becoming without, a shareholder. Yes, yes. And with, without, okay, so what I wanted to ask in addition is, is there a place that has this information? Is it on the website? Do I have to first go to the branch? Um, of course, for those who are especially curious to do that right now. Yes, the information is in our website. We have also, Peter has also put it in our online portal. But I also always say, let's start with the branch first so that you're able to open the, that account. We all do. The most important thing here I'm saying is the linkage between that CDS account and your mobile phone so that it comes easier for you to trade. Okay. Thank you so much, Anthony. Um, a lot of questions coming through about these business trips. I believe the other name you used is exposure trips. How does one qualify? Morris or Jenga and a few other people are asking, how does one qualify for a business exposure trip? Um, you can advise me on who wants to take that question. Anthony, is that you? That would be Peter. Peter, yes. yes. Peter is the man taking us to other countries to see business. Yes. Ah, sure, Peter, sure. go ahead, please. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, and thank you for that question. I think one of the things we have been able to do is to identify some of the emerging markets, um, countries that uh, we've been importing items, especially we are doing some, been doing some importation, lock, uh, you've been buying items locally, and then you feel where you are, you want to take your business to the next level. Um, we are able to take our customers to China uh, for several uh, destinations like uh, Guangzhou, the U markets, uh, the Shanghai, we have also been able to take our customers to Bangkok in Thailand. And also last year we were able to go to Israel and Turkey. And uh, one, one, one of the things we look at is what would benefit our customers in terms of maybe accessing suppliers, uh, getting someone who they can get some uh, connections and they start importation. So what we do is just uh, you know get that package and we realize we look at the charges the airline fees, the accommodation, and the logistics uh, in, the, in the destination, and we give you a charge. Uh, the beauty around it is the cost, because we go as a group and uh, we facilitate everything in terms of the visas, 
the insurance and everything. So it becomes very, very easy for you to access some of these destinations. And uh, we also look at where uh, would be the best markets for you uh, to purchase items from. So it's actually uh, a communication that we normally do to the branches and uh, detailing all the information that are necessary and the charges and our customers are able to pay and we facilitate. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peter. Um, Peter, someone else was asking, Eric Onyango, does, does uh, Copan own a circle? And how can I join if so? We, uh, maybe I can take that. Copan doesn't oh. own a circle. Uh, okay. But what happens is uh, if you are a member of any, uh, any circle outside there, or you, for the business people, if you have employees, say, of more than 10, you are eligible to open a circle and we are able to work with you on the formational structures, uh, what constitute a deposit taking circle, what are the rules, what are the principles. We're able to do that through a cop bank, uh, what we call a cop bank consultancy services. That's their work. They take an idea, a concept of forming a circle, if you have that idea within your business, and they help you build the framework. For us, we don't have. The only circle we have is for the employees. And that's what I was uh, possibly saying. If you are there you are in a gold, silver, your employees can join together voluntarily and join a circle and we'll support you to do two things, frame uh, the, the infrastructure framework the, and also the capacity do, uh, building. In most cases, we do it on, uh, on free basis. Uh, especially yeah. from our COP consultancy so that we help you build that spirit of uh, partnership. Yeah. Very good. All right. Um, Joseph, this may be your side, but you can let me know. Joseph, are you there? Um, yes, George yes, yes, is asking, what is COP doing? Um, the question is uh, concerning the mobile bank transactions. Can we expect a reduction or elimination of... Uh, is mobile bank transactions. Uh, I, 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 if I got you clear, Sam, I think these are the um, uh, transfers or uh, yes, yes. or the charges in mobile platform. Huh? Right, right. I, I think uh, at this point, obvious, there is something at the hand. We understand the charges are being uh, some instructing some pain to our customers. I know at this point, I cannot promise that I have a solution at this moment, but I think, and I know this is something we are being under review. We see whether we'll be able to remove that burden from the customer and we, we eliminate all those charges some. Okay, so there are no promises at present, but we are doing the best we can so that we make sure that we help the customer, right? That's, that's true, Sam. Okay, so, um, can you comment on LPO financing? I think someone mentioned they are looking for LPO financing. How well, does Dan, that work? Dan, Dan, Dan can do that. Dan, yes, okay. Dan, Mr. Kimani, go ahead. Yeah, we, we have a product called LPO Finance. This is specifically for business people who have LPOs from uh, entities that uh, we have pre-qualified as a bank. When I say pre-qualified, it means we've looked at... Um, the payment risk from these entities. And we've said that LPOs from these entities, uh, when we finance them, the customer is paid and therefore the bank is paid. Uh, these entities are mostly government entities, uh, say the Ministry of, of Education, Ministry of Finance, uh, we have CDF, all those entities. And if you have an LPO from them, uh, then you can uh, approach uh, the branches and we are able to finance you a maximum of 60% uh, for a period of maximum six months. Uh, it also, the tenure of that LPO finance depends on um, uh, the payment from the, that entity. Some will pay after a month, after you've done the job, after you've supplied, after you've done the construction, they pay you after one month. Some will take three, four months. So depending on that tenure, then the LPO finance will be pegged against that one. Okay, very good. Um, Daniel, can you comment on insurance as well? Do you have car hire insurance covers? Uh, can you comment on auto vehicle insurance, housing finance, that sort of thing? How does that work? Yes, uh, like I had mentioned earlier, if you have, um, uh, I'll, I'll give an example. If you are doing an asset finance with us, you're buying a vehicle through the bank, 
where we are able to finance you, say 80% of the vehicle, one of the packages that comes in with that car financing loan or asset finance is what we call insurance. And if you don't have money to pay for a premium of for one year, we also finance you that insurance so that you're able to pay on, on a monthly basis. And we give you the insurance, either one of uh, the insurance companies in the country, can be CIC, can be Jubilee, that depends on where you prefer. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Um, there's a gentleman or lady asking, I'm not sure because they are using their phone name, asking about, uh, they say, I get monthly statements since I opened an account for my business. How often should I submit returns? Please guide me. Um, who can help me with that? Is that you, Daniel? I'll repeat the question just in case you're uh, trying to process. I get monthly statements since I opened the account for my business. How often should I submit returns? Please guide me. Anthony, would you like to help me? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, if I uh, got it right, is it uh, I'm proposing is the KRA returns that should be done monthly. And uh, this done in last one, if you have an accountant uh, within your locality, uh, you just need to come print the, our statement, give hand it over to the, your accountant. I know they charge a normally two to five thousand. But the KRA return should be filed on a monthly basis so that you don't get into trouble. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, Boniface is asking how secure, so there's a concern here, how secure is transacting through MCOP Clash? Are we customers safe from fraudsters? I think there have been a few cases that have been cited as insider jobs. So someone is concerned. Would you comment, Anthony? Yes, sir. So, uh, the 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 thing with the online uh, what I call the online transaction, the the only remedy or the only thing that you need to really protect is your what you call the OTP, the one-time password. Any online, whether even on ATMs, the the secret to accessing funds is when you put in a a password. So if you don't share your password. Uh, there will be high unlikelihood that you not, uh, you know you will not get any fraud. But if you have uh, if someone gets access to your uh, PIN certificate or your OTP or password, then you're putting yourself at a risk. Number three, I think also when you are doing patches online, it's also good to go to confirm. Don't share a lot of online uh, a lot of personal details with people who you cannot authenticate or the calls that are made and you just share id numbers uh, uh, then your name your id number your telephone number uh, please ensure your pin certificate and your otp or pin pin uh, number please do not share with anyone even if someone is purporting to call from the bank do not share uh, your personal password. That's the only way to keep away from the fraud. Good. So the encouragement is to, to remind us that usually the point of weakness is with the person themselves. So please be mindful about who has access to your information. All right. Um, Junior Fred is asking, the insurance is asking about his car rental business. Uh, is there... Um, is um, let me just check the insurance I'm asking is about is for car rental business. If yes, what is the rate? Uh, do we know what the rate for the the loan or the business is? Um, anyone? Maybe I can take the the uh, no. Daniel had explained about uh, the 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 comprehensive insurance. Uh, right. What I can say is we have partnered with CIC on what we call a group insurance cover. What our advice is, because it's also dependent on the value of the motor vehicle, please liaise with our branch manager. It's, it's a five-minute uh, inquiry uh, at the desk, and they're able to advise you on the rate. And also, if you are to go the uh, what you call the insurance premium way, they're able to tell you the maximum number of months you are able to offset that insurance. In most cases, we do up to nine months installment on the premium on the comprehensive insurance. Very good. It's been a great session. We are going to be done in about five minutes. Some of you are asking, how do I access this session, the recording, the notes, and all these things. If you wait for two more minutes, we are going to show you how you can access that on your own. You don't need to wait for an email. You have open access to what we call 
the portal. So I'll be showing you. So to end our q and I'd like to invite Peter. Peter, if you could come onto video and comment on this, I think all of us would benefit from this. If I'm intending to open another business, maybe just run my business, can I get someone from the bank, from Cop Bank, to walk the journey with me from analyzing the idea to setting up and just projecting my growth and basically the early stages of uh, getting my business going. Peter? Yeah, yeah thank you, Sam. And um, uh, I think one of the things we, uh, we normally support our customers to do is to also uh, work with them uh, in their business journey. Uh, to say that you have an existing business in a certain locality and you're thinking of doing an additional branch, um, we encourage that you also share the expected the business model that you want to have, maybe with a relationship manager or a branch manager also in your uh, in your locality, because they may also have had a few experiences uh, based on the customer base that we support, and they may share a few uh, uh, insights that they could have uh, gathered along the way. However, we uh, advise that maybe you would want to have um, a deep dive of the locality and uh, do a bit of market research, identify the gap that is there that you want to, you know, to offer a solution to say that if I want to uh, start this business, what problem will I be solving? And uh, uh, that market research will be able to uh, you know, guide you on the business and the model that you want to have. And I think it will be a little bit more successful as opposed to just getting maybe an idea and you start without doing uh, research. It's also uh, advisable that uh, you, can encourage, uh, you can have a consultant, a business consultant who can also help you with maybe the SWOT analysis to say this is the strength, the weakness, the opportunities and the threats around this business uh, just for you to uh, to be successful with that business. But feel free to engage our relationship managers and our branch managers uh, to support maybe with uh, a few insights that they could be having. Thank you very much. Peter, Peter, just to be clear, they can go to the branch. There's someone who can uh, give them that help so that they map out their business and figure out what loans maybe they can access and what support they can, what other support they can get. Right? Absolutely. Yes, the bank uh, staff will be able to advise them the solutions that you'll be able to offer for that particular business. Thank you. Very good. All right. So if you're with me until now, we'll be done in five minutes. But right now, I'd like to switch very quickly and move to Fiona Maina, who has been running these sessions behind the scenes. She's, if she doesn't work, none of this happens. So we want to appreciate Fiona. Please give a clap for Fiona. Use your your hearts, your emojis, your claps, whatever you can find access to. Help me appreciate Fiona. Fiona, I'm going to ask you to come mm -hmm. on to video and just walk mm -hmm. us through. So there are about three things she's going to do. She's going to walk us through the portal. Oh, those are very many claps, Fiona. Well done, well done, well done. Mm -hmm. I very appreciate <laughs> that. You. I hope you can appreciate it today. So yes, I can Fiona's feel going, the love. Fiona's going to do three things. She's going to show us the portal. For those who have been asking, how do I access the portal? The, this session and the past sessions, but then she'll also be walking us through what we can expect in the next couple of weeks with this Thursday webinar. Fiona, over to you. Thank you so much, Sam. And thank you, Peter and the COP team and everyone for being on here. Um, a lot of times we get the question of um, where can we get this? Can I get the session recording um, emailed to me? And we are, I am particularly happy to um, help you navigate um, where you will get all the session recordings for the um, for the webinars, which we've had since last year, September. So please feel free to um, go onto your Google um, web browser and search the COP Bank MSME portal. So when you go to the search engine and you search for the COP Bank MSME portal, uh, uh, portal, it will lead you directly to this landing page. Yeah, then your first option. Yeah, and then you will go onto the home. This is where you will get everything COP offers you as an SME or as a customer for all their services. You'll find the e-commerce services, the insurance, um, how to create your uh, MSME account and all the details. 
um, then you can go and see the events, um, all the upcoming events that um, COP is having, uh, COP has lined up for you. Um, everything with all the topics that we have scheduled for you for the webinars. We have everything um, um, for all the international trips that will be posted on here. Um, so when you're ready, when the trips are ready, you will get an alert and please kindly go on. You also have, this is where um, we have everything about the webinars. So all the sessions you had, just go onto the portal. Um, you go to the Knowledge Hub and click on the webinars and you will you have that. So thank you, Sam, for that. And also um, what will be happening um, this coming month, we will be really discussing uh, people and leadership, how people um, having a good team and how to get, uh, to lead people in your businesses, um, everything from employee engagement, talent management, performance manage, uh, management, team building, how to build like a good team, um, how to have a very good work culture, a place of that, that um, is very inclusive of people with different working styles and differently enabled people, how to be a coach and a mentor for your employees so that your businesses can thrive and grow. So I'm really excited to have all of you um, coming into the webinar sessions and thank you so much. Um, that's all from me today, um, Sam. And if they have, uh, so we've been running these sessions for quite a number of, of weeks and months. If anyone has a, a, a an idea that they'd love to uh, add to this session, the suggestion, can they reach you using these contacts? Yes, Sam, they can reach me through um, the email and the number on the screen. I'm always available to answer questions. And I really appreciate it when people are always reaching out to me, asking me questions. If you're having challenges joining in the session, I'm always available for that. And also perhaps what I should mention, um, Sam, Today, because you are in the spirit of giving away a lot of gifts from uh, COP Bank, I will also be reaching to some of uh, the people I have identified. Example, like Grace Orondo, she's always been here from like the first webinar. I'll be reaching out to them and hoping to do like a short testimonial on how impactful these sessions have been. So yes, um, I am really taking notes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And so yeah, I hope we were, yeah, I we hope. were not told that we are marking attendance. So all of us should have been here. <laughs> it's, 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 I think we're now more motivated to attend these sessions. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We are always taking notes. And today, because Peter really started us off on a good note saying we are having giveaways and we are surprising everyone. So yes. These surprises, um, because I'm available when I reach out. I hope they will also be very available when they when I reach out to them. So yes. Very, good. very good. All right, um, Grace. Yes, uh, Peter mentioned yes. Grace attended our business trip to yes. Israel trip to, and to, to Israel Turkey. and Turkey. Yeah. So it seems like Grace is a star uh, banker at COP. Eh? <laughs> 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 very good all right thank you so much so that is all for today and before we go i'm going to of course we have to end with a prayer but before i wanted to also show you in case you want to reach out to again your immediate person that will give you the greatest information that you need is your bank uh your bank manager so visit your branch reach out and make sure you have those conversations i like what anthony said it's a bit like uh, it has to be a close relationship uh, last week we learned that you when it comes to lending money you lend to people you know. So it's good to build that relationship. And today, Anthony gave us the illustration of it's a bit like with the doctor to diagnose and find out what is the issue, what is the best solution we can provide. Because it's better to have that conversation and we encourage you to visit your branch. Uh, before if you get if you before you get to your branch, you can still reach out with the contact information on the screen. You can talk to us as a telephone number, there's a there's a contact center number, there's emails, there's a WhatsApp number. We want to be sure that we are available for you. And yes, so we encourage you to do that. All right, uh, Junior Fred says, I would love to meet you all before the end of the year. I think let's put that into consideration. We can't promise, but for sure, it's something that is possibly cooking in the in the background. Um, so I'd like to, we started with someone making a prayer. And uh, as we finish, I'd like to invite one person. Um, I see Richard Tothi, would you like to uh, pray for us? Richard, Richard Tothi, would you unmute your mic and say a prayer for us? 
going once, Richard. Going twice, Richard. You know, there are six. Hi, this today they have gifts and all those things. Okay, so Jeff, I'm going to just one more person. Jeff, uh, would you care to pray for us before we finish? I see we may have, okay. So that I don't hold it longer, I'm going to go ahead and ask Fiona, would you kindly pray for us? Um, and we will come to the end of our session today. Yes, um, I'm happy to do that. Um, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for such a wonderful session. We thank you for the knowledge shared and the information shared as well. Um, we are grateful for the businesses we have, and we are grateful to have a bank that is supportive, that is um, committed to see us grow and thrive. Um, as we go back to our businesses, we pray for your blessings and we pray for your guidance. Pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you and have a very beautiful week. See you next week, Thursday. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, uh, everyone who has been in the session. We appreciate you. Yes, thank you, Joseph. Yeah.